Hello everyone, welcome to TM Repair Tutorials. Yeah, today we have our common patient monitor star 8000 and it's not able to turn on or it turns on but it's not fully booted. So let's try let's turn it on and see what's the and see how the problem is so i'm turning on my device okay device is on so let's see what happens It takes a while for it to boot. Okay, so it's on. Then it goes off and it reboots again. So this was this is the main problem of this patient monitor. So we'll have to open it up, do some troubleshooting, then see where the problem is coming from. Okay, so let me turn off my device. Okay, my device is off. Power cable out. Okay, so let's take it out. So we have some screws here. One, two, three. Let's try and take all of them out. Okay, so let's go. Okay, most of times this kind of problem comes from the the brain of the board that's the controlling board, the one that controls the SPO two, the NIBP. ECG, the CO2, those are the boards that co normally causes this kind of problem to shut down. And also it can be from the picture board, the board that displays all the functions. So first of all, let's open it up and find what's really the cause of this kind of problem so i'm almost done okay so let me finish it up take out my screws Okay, yeah, so all oh, the screws are in here. Let's try to open it up. Okay, something just fell out. Let me take out the stand. <laughs> That's my cat. Okay, this one is also out. And let me take these ones, the screws here, also out. Okay, then let's open it up. Yeah, more 
this year let me try and take that also out and see if it will assist me to easily remove because it's like nothing it's, there's no really supports not anything much so let's try taking our device out okay okay so that's so that's our main device here in here so this the picture board controls all the images the panel in front it controls almost everything here then we have our main brain the brain the function so in here we have the board here controlling the BP controlling the SPO2 controlling the NIBP so the device is not turning on so why why is it not turning on and it seems I can see something which is telling me the device has been tempered with there's supposed to be a device here connecting this and that this device controls the svo2 and if the device is not well connect it's not connected then there will be issues possibly to i might be wrong because the if there should be a connection here it will be like a bridge between these two lines here and it's supposed to supply connect connections to this connector but it's been done here so no need for that so let's put this one aside then find out why device is misbehaving giving me the headaches why this thing is doing that possibly you just needs some washing you just clean the board with um alcohol pcb cleaner and problem will be solved sometimes it solves the problem so i'm turning it on once more to see if the device will magically start working so it's on when you open it up you heard some something making noise inside possibly something is broken so the device is on let's see if it stays Mm, so magically our device is on so, uh, it might be a possible uh, makes connection somewhere else that's why our device was just shutting off so by opening it up and plugging it back on device is stable Okay, so I will further take it out, do small cleaning, just cleaning the board, then searching if there's anything that's supposed to be maintained, then we can move on, then finish this device. Okay, so let's go on with that. Let me turn it off. So properly shutting down. Okay. So I will take this thing out. Yeah. Let me find the device that was 
making sounds in there. Okay. Wow. So this was in there. This thing just fell out. It just came out right now. So possibly it was having a contact with something and the device was shutting down automatically because there was this device was causing a short. So this is out now. Um, let me use my brush to just clear any inbuilt dust. SPO2 and IVP SPO2 and IVP connectors are work no leaks pipe looks solid well connected valves also well connected tube well connected so we don't have any issue here as it seems here right now so let me also slightly brushed my picture board okay so I think everything here looks legit to be on the safer side I want to use my PCB spray cleaning agent I'll just spray it on the board then do further cleaning basically that's my maintenance yeah then I go to this side also I want to maintain the whole board so do further cleaning here okay I will leave this side out so device is good let's wait a while for it to dry cool warm down some more then we can power it up then we see our finish work then we will do a try test check our SVO2 to see whether the device it's working properly and all functions are okay so just wait okay so device is dry enough let's plug everything back yeah everything is well, well, well connected and then let's turn it on Okay, device is on. Yes. Let's see if it will boot well. Just wait. 
then device is on okay wow. so it looks like device is in good condition okay so the next thing we are supposed to check if our spo2 works well i have my spo2 cable here then we'll check it and see if our sensors are work connected and are in good condition so i have my spo2 connector here let me connect it to the device so spo2 is connected so spo2 let's let's read my spo2 you see okay that's it yes spo2 is good spo2 is good let's see if our nibp will also start pumping okay okay yes you see nibp let's try it again yes yes it's okay now so we can we can turn the device off then close it up now device is 100 percent okay let's turn it off okay okay thank you okay so in all device was the device needed some minor maintenance for it to initialize well so that's it please subscribe to the page leave any comments just type something if you have any question just ask me then let's communicate okay see you the next time bye bye